हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई होप यू हैव इन्जॉयड डिफरेंट वीडियोज ऑन आर चैनल अबाउट स्पार्क एंड हडोप एंड डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स सो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट वन मोर सीरीज ऑन आर चैनल दैट इज़ अबाउट मशीन लर्निंग फ्यू ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स एंड फ्यू ऑफ आर व्यूअर्स हैड सेंड मी पर्सनल मैसेजेज एंड रिक्वेस्टेड दैट दे वॉन्ट टू सी अ सीरीज अबाउट मशीन लर्निंग एंड दे ऑल्सो सेट दैट दे डोंट they want to see it from applied machine learning perspective that how it is being used in industry rather than more from theory perspective and more from you know uh, research perspective so i am create going to create a series of videos uh, you know uh, the videos that i am going to put for this series are not going to be that frequent you know when i say that frequent it, there is not going to be a one video per day so but there will be frequent videos uh, like the uh, the frequency can be low like two videos in a week or one video in a week so uh, i will cover different topics uh, uh, like classification regression clustering uh, you know feature engineering exploratory data analysis deep learning i'll be covering all those topics uh, and i hope it everybody will enjoy it and uh, you know they will get benefited from this okay so the language that we are going to use in for our video is uh, python uh, there are different options you can use sas you can use uh, r you can use different languages but i have chosen python because i feel python is more realistic language when it comes to uh, applied machine learning you can literally take models created in python and put them into production if you are working for enterprise so python is more close to a uh, production kind of environment it has a very good community also like very good set of libraries like pandas numpy scikit learn uh, you know keras tensorflow for all the kind of things that we are going to learn as part of this series uh, so in my personal opinion i have worked on both r and python i felt that python is more uh industry ready language for data science so uh, for machine learning and data science and all other activities in on this video channel we are going to majorly focus on <coughs> python so uh so this is how you can install uh, i hope you already have python on your system uh, if you don't have you don't need to worry uh, there are different ways you can install different libraries and python Uh, you can use pip you can use uh, you, you can directly download it from uh, uh, from your uh, internet python and and install it uh, but i am going to use anaconda anaconda i have found it very convenient because you know there are different versions of each library for python you get on internet and if you end up downloading incompatible versions you will face issues so it is better to go ahead with anaconda so anaconda distribution you get for linux also and you get for windows also so you can choose any one it's very simple to install it uh, you can just download it by clicking on this link i'll share the uh, link uh, on in my uh, description of this video you can look into that and uh, uh, you can just download anaconda and you can just run this command and uh, uh, you know it will automatically install anaconda and it will have all the things which you will need for uh, learning machine le uh, for machine learning for this particular series uh if you have a low end machine like the one that i have uh you know microsoft azure notebooks is something that you should try it is an amazing free product by microsoft i really appreciate uh, you know their initi this initiative i was actually surprised to see microsoft giving free stuff uh, to developer community uh, i have in my personal experience i have not seen many instances where microsoft has done this but recently they have started to do this and and i must say that we all should appreciate microsoft for their this initiative so you can create jupyter notebooks uh, uh, with this and you can learn use it for learning so just create a account on notebooks.azure.com uh, and you'll be good it will give you a 4gb machine uh, the current machine that i use is 1gb machine 
and uh, you know it may not be good enough for our machine learning videos that I'm going to show you so I'm going to use notebooks.azure.com however you are not going to face any kind of difference uh, in, in the video or uh, uh, the content so you can if you have installed Anaconda you can still do the same thing and everything will work because Microsoft Azure notebooks also use Jupyter and Anaconda internally so uh, happy learning guys I hope this video will be useful for everyone and this series will also be useful for everyone I'll try to keep things very simple during our uh, this series please feel free to share uh, this series with your friends subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed till now thanks for watching this video